I was in a car accident where a senior citizen fell asleep on the road and drove into us from the oncoming side. Um, I was strapped in a baby chair and the baby chair only had supports by the waist area, not over the shoulders. So on collision I jerked my spine and um, I had brain injury because the blood flowed to my head and all of that. And we were actually very fortunate to survive that accident because our house doctor was actually right behind us. So he was able to stabilize us before, uh, well, until the ambulance came. And um, yeah, I've had a great support group. Um, the main person is obviously my mom. She's been a rock. Um, like she's really helped me through everything. Uh, doctors told her that I had a slim chance of ever getting through the brain injury or ever doing the stuff that I'm doing right now. And um, she didn't take that, so she gave up her career and she self-rehabilitated me for eight years, every day of the week. <laughs> and um, it's because of her that I am where I am right now. And I think it's because of her that I've seen anything is possible and as long as you're willing to work for it. And yeah, she was definitely my number one role model in my support group. I was in Menden Mall out with my cousins and I wanted to give my cousins hell so I pushed fast around the mall and all of that and like they had to chase me. <laughs> and it's funny how like I all happened because while I was just being myself and doing tricks in my chair and that I was driving past Dross in my chair with the tricks and that and when I came back there were three guys sitting there and this was like 10 o'clock at night so it's a weird time for someone to be sitting there and they called me and they said hi do you ever want to try wheelchair basketball uh, we got a club and yeah I was a bit skeptical to go to that training because I mean I didn't know the guys and while they're there watching me at 10 o'clock at night but I mean, I went to training and I fell in love with the sport. My other passion is the robotics and I love bowling stuff. And I mean, I look forward to the explosions. <laughs> It'll drive other people away. Like I've literally blown a few things up, like small little flames and all of that, but I mean, I'm still alive, so it's fine. But <laughs> that's how you learn. And when I was a young kid, I was always drawing sketches and that of things that I'm gonna build one day to help people with disabilities. It started when I was like six, I was drawing sketches. I actually kept all the sketches. And now I'm building the products, even though it's like eight years later. So I feel chuffed with that. But yeah, definitely the robotics gives me that sense of power because if I want to make a difference in the world, I can do it through my robots and I can help people out and make life easier for them. So yeah, definitely the robotics. <laughs> I'm like a little kid when it comes to robots. And I actually did robotics before the basketball and like I was a typical geek. I was overweight, pimples, curly hair. <laughs> basketball really <laughs> changed that around. What I've come to realize is that the robotics and basketball it was never the actual robotics and basketball, the people that I was around that made it so enjoyable. But in terms of highlights in my career, I was the captain of the under 23 SA squad last year. Um, and I was the most valuable player for the Super Sports Series the year before that. And I'm achieving things that I thought I'd only achieve five years later or 10 years later. And it feels pretty amazing to achieve it like at such an early age. Coming up, I also never thought I'd play in the States basketball. I knew I wanted to get there, I just didn't know how I was gonna get there and I achieved that. When I was in the States, I was tweaking and that in my room and just experimenting with the robots. And I don't know where they heard about me, but these CEOs and that of companies heard about me and they came to my apartment room to see what I'm doing. And I showed them and now I'm busy developing stuff for them. So yeah, definitely like that just showed me that being yourself and just experimenting on that, everyone's gonna buy into that. So I'd like to be on the Forbes 30 under 30. And obviously later down the line, one of Forbes most in, uh, influential people um, that was the one thing I was looking at and I just I want to open like a hospital with robotics and all of that or rehabilitation and that I love robotics um, the nice thing about it is I can use both of them to sort of I can inspire others to make a change and like live a better lifestyle with the basketball for instance I can show people what's possible even if you have a disability and with the robotics I mean I can build products for people with disabilities and I can really make a difference in people's lives with the stuff I build.